Welcome to a gatefold card with belly band tutorial. I'm Shari Philomahala here at the Graphic 45 headquarters. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create these cute belly bands and then these gatefold cards that stand up on a desk or a table. They're gonna look great on all those holiday mantles. You can see I'm gonna walk you through this one as well as a horizontal little pop-up version. And this one really highlighting how fun these matte pearl gems are and even adding in a little tuck spot for a gift card or a gift. So I'll teach you how to create these three in this video. And then with your leftovers, I'll walk you through um, what you're gonna need to create the other three for a total of six cards. These cards this month have been created for us by Nancy Wethington. And to recreate these with us, you can pick up our volume 10 card kit by hopping on over to our website, g45papers.com or heading down to your local G45 retailer. Of course, grab those supplies or just grab what you've got in your stash at home and create these fun cards along with us. Old. So before we get started on our cards, the first thing we wanna do is prep all of our card bases. And if you picked up our kit, you received uh, six ivory, nice heavy duty five by seven card bases. If you are just creating along, you can just cut your piece to uh, your six pieces to 10 by seven. And we are going to do some scoring. So we are going to ignore our score line here at the five inches. And we're gonna create our own scores and we're going to do that at two inches. Three and a half. Six and a half. And eight. You'll do this with all six card bases. And then we are going to fold in a way that will end up looking like this. So you want it to be a mountain fold, valley fold. The center one is flat and a valley and a mountain. And that's going to come together, creating our nice gate fold. So before we get started, we are going to prep all six of our large tags. So we want um, to end up with these two pieces like you see here. So from the top, we are going to cut off three and a half inches and go ahead and slice that down. And then from the bottom, we want that to be two and a quarter inch. So it does list it correctly on your project sheet. However, this little image here, it says two and a half inches, which that is not correct. So uh, follow the text here where it says two and a quarter. And then this is just a scrap piece. And then you'll do this with all six of your tags. Next, we are gonna start creating these fun washi tape paper bows. So to do that, just take off three info strips from your eight by eight papers. And for some added insurance, I'm going to add some score tape on both sides of my info strips. Now we are gonna to start to create our glitter washi tape ribbons. So we're gonna add it onto both sides. I've taken the score tape off of my info strip on one side and now I'm gonna create an ivory glitter bow. So I'm just going to start at one end and slowly inch by inch adhere this onto my info strip. and trim off your excess. Once you have both sides, go ahead and burnish that down. And now we're gonna create our bow centers. So we're gonna take a um, either a half of an inch or a five eighths of an inch circle punch, whatever you've got. If you don't have a circle punch, you could just cut out a square and I'm gonna cut trim out two from long winter's nap 
and one from the b-side of twas the night before christmas and then using our matte pearl gems i'm going to add just a bead of adhesive on the back side to make sure i'm getting an extra good bond and i'm going to adhere those onto our circles Next, we are going to cut a triangle in the bottom of all three of our ribbons. And then take your bone folder and let's start to curl these to give them shape, some shape and get them used to getting into loops. So to create my bow, I just folding this approximately in thirds. I'm going to add some adhesive in the inside center and now angle my tail down, add another layer of adhesive on top of this one and create my second loop. Once you have your placement like you like it, you can take a clip and clip that into place while it dries. Now this hasn't fully dried yet, but I am going to now add my center and then add my paper clips back on. Card one. Step one for card one, we're gonna cut two pieces of Mary Mistletoe to be one and seven eighths by six and three quarters. And then adhere those to your outside panels. Cut two pieces of Happy Holy Day to one and three eighths by six and three quarters. Adhere those. Cut a piece of Twas the Night Before Christmas to be two and seven eighths by six and three quarters. Adhere to the center. From the signature page, we are going to cut off this top border to be two and seven eighths of an inch. And then we are going to do a little bit of detailed fussy cutting if you choose. If not, you can just take this plaid border and cut it to two and seven eighths. Otherwise, you can take these two holly leaves as well and then get that total length to two and seven eighths. While you've got this sheet out, we're gonna fussy cut out this beautiful Santa as well and this clock right here from Jolly Old Elf. Adhere the clock, and then we're gonna do our little plaid border. A three quarters of an inch down from the top, maybe a half of an inch or so. Add your red border about a half of an inch from the bottom. And then we're going to adhere our Santa. And if you have any Santa hanging over the flaps, you can see like I do. I'm just gonna fold my flap over and then just trim off the excess. Now it will close and lay beautifully. Now, if you love fussy cutting and wanna go the extra mile, you can always add some holly and ivy along with some little stockings as well. I'm gonna leave mine more on the simple side because it's still gonna be gorgeous. Now I've prepped the front of my card with some strips of our score tape. And then we will just peel back our score tape. And you can also use liquid tape for this, which actually might be optimal. But I'm just gonna go with what we've started and then just using something with a straight edge like a um, ink pad, I'm just gonna tear my ends. Step four, we're gonna start creating our belly band. So we've taken this piece of ho, 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 and we've cut it to be eight inches by one and three quarters. And then we have two pieces of our signature sheet, Twas the Night Before Christmas, and we've cut those to be three and three quarters by two inches and three and three quarters by two and a half. In the directions, it has those um, dimensions swapped, which would be this way, which would make your stripes um, going the opposite direction so either way it's going to look great um, but this is how we've cut ours 
And then I'm gonna take my corner rounder and on our smaller piece, our two inch piece, we're gonna round two of those four corners. And on our larger piece, we're gonna round all four. Adhere our larger piece to our tag side with the grommet and round our two bottom corners. Adhere stripe to your smaller piece. Now we are going to take our ho 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 paper that we've cut and we're going to start to fold this to get a sense of where we want to adhere everything. So we want to leave a little bit of space and make sure that everything is folding straight across. So we wanna be able to slide this easily once it is all put together. So I like my placement so far. Now I'm just going to square up my folds and we can start to adhere these pieces together. So I'm going to add adhesive just onto this little small strip here. This is gonna go almost to the edge like so. I'll do the same with this one. All right, so now let's test this again before we do our final adhering. So it is looking nice and good. If you need to loosen it up, you can, this is a great time to do that. But if you like your placement, you can adhere these two pieces together. I'm going to put a line of adhesive there and seal those down, making sure that I don't adhere this piece down as well. And then once that dries, we can slip this on like so. And now we've created our beautiful belly band. Now we can start to decorate this. So I'm gonna do two strips of my ivory washi on my belly band. And if you want the added security, now you can just pull this tape back up and add some liquid adhesive. I've cut another strip from the signature page, another uh, clock from our Jolly Old Elf, and a handle with care tag. I believe this is from our Up on the Housetop paper. And I have uh, an assortment of our silver gems. I have two large ones, and I have uh, two medium ones, and 12 of the smallest ones. And we're going to do some decorating. So there you have it. We have completed our card number one with adorable belly band and all. Now using that same template, here is what you can create with your leftover papers. So here we have our happy holy day and our bundle of toys is that nice polka dot. And then we've got some nice fussy cuts from some of our favorite papers to fussy cut from Jolly Old Elf and Ho Ho Ho. And then once you open this cutie up, you've got some nice little details in there. This is from Long Winter's Nap, some gold gems, and a cut apart from our Long Winter's Nap. Card two. Step one for our card two, we're gonna cut the following strips from Ho Ho Ho. These are all about six and three quarters inches. So we're gonna have this toys, candy cane stripe, a red print, a border with all of these pieces, another large piece with all of these borders, and then these two. Adhere these two pieces on your outside flaps leaving extra room at both of those top sections. 
add your candy cane strip border at the top here and your diamonds here. Now we're gonna take our silver washi tape and we're gonna add two strips to our center panel towards the top and bottom. We're gonna cut a piece of Mary Mistletoe. This is six and three quarters by two and a quarter and this adheres right to the center and then add your red and green borders to the top and bottom step three we're going to take up on the house top and we're going to cut this if you cut this to be six and three quarters i would cut this one the same but if you cut that seven go seven and then it's going to be one and a quarter in the directions it says one and three quarters um, however it's a little too big so you're going to want to cut it down to one and one quarter and then this adheres to this panel here. Adhere your toys banner to this panel here. And then we're going to leave the rest of that blank so you can write a nice little uh, festive message if you'd like. Or if you want, you can always add a little fussy cut stamp as well. From our signature page, we're going to cut out this round circle with Santa in it with that red border. And then from the center point down, we are going to measure two and three quarters inch and then cut along that line there. And then this is going to adhere to our little diagonal striped panel there. And I want it to be um, leaning towards the left. So once you find your placement that you like, I'm gonna just pull, hold that with my finger in place so I know where to put my adhesive. Just gonna put it on that bottom there and not go past my finger. And now this should be the perfect placement of adhesive. And just bond that down, making sure there isn't any adhesive coming up over the edge and making sure that this will open and close beautifully. So now we've created a fun little pop-up element. Step five, we're creating our belly band for our card two. So we're taking this jolly old elf and we've cut it to be eight inches by one and three quarters. And then we've got two more B-sides of Twas the Night Before Christmas. And these we've cut again to be three and three quarters by two and a half inches and three and three quarters by two inches. And then we've taken our pre-cut large tags and we've rounded the corners on the larger grommet side and rounded the corners on all four sides of this one and two sides here. Adhere your stripes. Take your eight inch strip that we've cut and loosely wrap it around our card base. Adhere your smaller end to one of your belly band ends. Add a strip of washi. Locate this cut apart and add some foam adhesive to the back. Adhere stamps. And then a fun way to use up these info strips, we are going to use the title as our sentiment. So just trim that out. After you trim out that sentiment, cut two pieces of washi tape that are just slightly longer. Adhere those two pieces together and trim. Adhere sentiment and add this to our little journaling space here. I added a little bit of foam adhesive inside my grommet hole and some liquid adhesive and now I'm going to adhere my washi bow. And then add some black matte pearl gems. We have now completed our card number two. Using that same template, here's what you can create with those leftovers. So here on our belly band tag, we have Mary Mistletoe, along with some cut aparts from our Twas the Night Before Christmas, and then also Long Winter's Nap. And then we've got our borders here from Ho Ho Ho, and another cut apart from Long Winter's Nap, and some of that ivory washi. Card three.
Step one for card three, we're gonna cut two pieces of Happy Holy Day to one and seven eighths by six and three quarters. Adhere to the front of your card base. Next, we're gonna take the A side of Happy Holy Day and we've cut out two pieces that are one and three eighths by six and three quarters. Adhere those pieces. From Long Winter's Nap, we've cut a piece that's two and three quarters by six and three quarters and adhered that to our center. From our Ho 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 paper, we've cut out the strip of horizontal stamps and we are going to cut out three together. Add adhesive on either side and this is going to act as our belly band for our gift card and trim to fit if needed so it will lie nice and flat. Cut this cut apart out from up on the rooftop and slide it into place. Add the ivory washi tape to the front of our plaid panels. Cut out eight stamps and adhere them evenly on top of your washi tape. Add 10 large gold gems in between your stamps. Now let's create that belly band. You're going to take a piece of Happy Holy Day and cut it to eight inches by one and three quarters. And then we've got our long winter's nap that we have cut to two and a half inches by three and a half and two inches by three and a half. We have our already cut pieces from our tag and we've rounded those bottom corners here. Fold plaid side up around your card and adhere your tag pieces. Glue your pieces onto your belly band so they look like this. Cut these border pieces from Ho Ho Ho. One is four and a quarter and one is three and three quarters. Adhere. Cut out these two pieces. Add foam adhesive on the back side of one. And then I'm going to adhere my clock slightly staggered. Like so. And then adhere this on an angle. adding some foam adhesive on the back of that clock like so. Add your ivory bow and a gold gem and you are done with card number three. Now using that same template, here's what you can create with those leftovers. So from the belly band, you can see we have up on the housetop in the background and this has been fussy cut from Jolly Old Elf. On our card base, we've got bundle of toys as well as ho, ho, ho. And inside we have more bundle of toys and ho, ho, ho. And a cute little pocket and some glitter washi details. Thank you for joining us for this fun gatefold card tutorial. We'd love to see what you created. So share your projects with us on Instagram using that graphic 45 hashtag. And if you're looking for more great tutorials like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you know every time we upload a fun and fabulous tutorial. Thanks again and happy paper crafting.